I know this microphone is super obvious, yes, but let's just act like it doesn't exist. Act like it's not there, okay? All right, let's go. Hello, I'm Judy the Organizer and creator at Rescue My Space. Welcome back to my channel and if you are new, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you three simple ways. You know what, let's scratch that. I'll be showing you three simple steps to organize your paperwork at home. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Oh, before we continue, make sure you like this video. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe below. Also, make sure you hit that notification bell so whenever I post a video, you get notified. One more thing, you can also share this video. So if you know someone that needs help with their paperwork or help filing their paperwork, if you share this video, I'm sure they'll be very, very happy. And so would I. All right, <laughs> let's continue. Hello, it's voiceover Judy. Hi. Before I continue this video, I want you to understand that this video is an aerial view of the beginning steps to getting rid of paper clutter by way of filing, which means this video is an introduction to combating paper clutter and the simple process that will help you do so. So let's continue. So with that said, the first simple step to organizing or to filing your paperwork properly at home is you need to get the items you need to file. So the items that I'm referring to are hanging folders, file folders, the label, which usually comes with a hanging folder, also a pen, a marker, or a label maker, and of course, either a file cabinet or a file holder. These items will keep all of your paperwork, all of your files, all your documents organized. And there's so many different types of folders, hanging folders, file folders, and if you're interested at all, let me know in the comment section below. And if enough of you guys agree, I'd love to do a detailed video on this. So the second, so the second simple step, that is difficult to say. So the second simple step to organizing your files or your paperwork is to create categories. In order to properly follow your paperwork, you need to create categories so it's easy for you to find the paperwork you need. Your categories can include home, auto, car, medical, health. It can be the names of individuals that live with you it literally can be anything. And you can take it even a step further and create subcategories. So you may have a hanging folder that reads home, but in that hanging folder, you'll have different file folders that read something like maybe home mortgage, home insurance, home warranties. You get what I mean? It all depends how detailed you wanna be. You don't need to be detailed. If you are someone who just wants a very basic filing system, Stick with just regular categories and add your paperwork to there. But if you're someone who wants something more detailed, you should definitely stick with subcategories, which will be which will make it easier for you to find any paperwork you need in your file cabinet or your file organizer. So the third simple way to organizing your paperwork is to create labels. Labels are so important because it helps you find what you need. So after you create those categories, you need to label those categories. Again, like I said, you can have your hanging folder read home and just put all your home documents in that one hanging folder or you can have your hanging folder read home and the subcategories which will be your file folders read home warranties home insurance home mortgage literally whatever is involved in the home so there's certain hanging folders that can accommodate all those different file folders so if you're interested in me creating a detailed video on how to file properly definitely let me know in the comment section below. So the fourth step, which is a bonus step, you're welcome, is to alphabetize all of your files. So I'm gonna mention two ways you can alphabetize. You can either alphabetize your hanging folders or you can alphabetize your file folders in your hanging folders. This will allow you to find the documents you need quickly. The last thing we wanna do is to spend time rummaging through paper, rummaging through files because we're looking for a particular document. We don't want that. We want everything to be very easy. We want to know where everything is so that when we need something, it's easily accessible, we get it, and we're done. That's the goal. At least that's my goal in my home office. That's pretty much it, guys. These are just three or four simple steps to organizing your paperwork. Now that we're working from home more often, we are accumulating a lot of paperwork. And in order for us to keep sane, to keep sane in this very, very interesting time. It's great to have some type of filing systems. So when you do go back to work, it'll be so much easier for you to jump back into the swing of things. 
So I know I mentioned this a few times in this video, but let me know in the comment section below if you'd like me to create a more detailed video on how to organize your paperwork. I'd love to do that. There's so many tools that I like to use to properly organize my files, and I'd love to share that with you guys. So you already know what time it is. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And thank you so very much for watching this video. And as always, I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, before you click out, make sure you check out this video or this video. This video is a playlist of all the three simple ways you can organize your life. And this video is a playlist of my life. I'm a vlogging professional organizer and here you can see who the girl is behind these videos. Or you can just click this one and get your life organized. You're welcome. Okay, you can click out now.